again here in West Michigan, and with bitterly cold temperatures, it is crucial that we take extra steps to protect our animals. I'm Angela Hollinshead, Division Director for the Kent County Animal Shelter. The best place for our pets is in our homes next to us, but we know that is not always possible. For pets that spend time outdoors, we encourage all pet owners to take appropriate steps to protect them. The Kent County Animal Shelter does not recommend that pets be left outside for extended periods of time in below freezing weather. However, in Michigan, the law does not prevent people from keeping their animals outside if certain provisions are met. Dogs are required to have shelter and access to water or their owners may face fines. These laws are intended to protect animals from needless suffering and animal cruelty. In this short video, our Kent County Animal Control Officer Scott Dobbins will tell us about the bedding and sheltering requirements for dogs. He will also share some tips that you can use to better protect your animals when they're outside this winter. If you believe you had witnessed an act of animal abuse or neglect in Kent County, call the Kent County Animal Shelter at 616-632-7300. Now, here is Scott Dobbins. Over here we have improper keeping of a, a dog house um, for a dog that's gonna be outside for the Michigan winters. The kennel's insufficient because it, it has a lot of areas where cold air and snow can enter into the kennel with your, with your dog. So he, the, your dog would not be able to keep warm because there's too many areas where snow and wind can pull snow in to the kennel. Also I want to point out is the bedding. The bedding is a soft material where it will get wet and the bedding will freeze over. Just like the water will freeze, the bedding will freeze over too when it's, when it's deep in, in, in water and snow. So what you want to do is get something better than, than this bedding we have here. The one thing we always want to say is straw is always the best solution to that problem. I always want to point out is the improper keep of the water. Um, in, in Michigan winters, that water should freeze within an hour. So you, what you have to do is keep that water filled and make sure that it's not um, freezing, especially throughout the, the day and the night. It's always best to bring your dog inside if it's gonna get extremely cold. So if you can't do that, you have to have sufficient shelter. This shelter works wonderfully because what we have here is a lot of straw in here, enough that it fills it up. We wanna allow your pet to move this around if they like. So if they wanna go in there and shuffle that around, maybe kick some out, it's okay if they kick some out, as long as you have enough inside to allow that to happen. And as you always wanna to try to replenish that too, as it gets thrown out, some of it may get damp, but it won't saturate the, the whole shelter. So that's what makes straw so good. In addition to providing dry bedding and maintaining access to water, Michigan law requires adequate shelter for dogs when the temperature drops below freezing. Adequate shelter, which can mean one or more of the following. The residence of the dog owner or another individual. A dog house with a roof that is the appropriate size for the breed or the size of the dog. A structure like a garage, barn, or shed that is insulated and ventilated to protect the dog from extreme temperatures. If the structure does not have adequate insulation or ventilation, then it needs to have a dog house inside. Here are a few tips that can make winter a little easier on you and your dog. Outdoor pets need more food than indoor dogs. Check their food dish every time you check their water. Considering using a plastic bowl to keep your dog's tongue from sticking to a freezing metal bowl. A cold car in the winter can be just as dangerous as a hot car in the summer. Leave your pets home in extreme cold weather and never leave them unattended in a cold car. Make sure that their collars have up-to-date information and microchip your dog. Winter can bring power outages and other emergencies. It is wise to have an emergency plan. Build a five-day emergency kit for each dog. Include five days of food and water as well as any medications your dog is taking. Michigan law does not address free roaming or community cats, but we ask that residents be mindful of their needs as well. Even though cats are well adapted for living in colder climates, they do benefit from having access to a shelter. 
Simple cat shelters made from a storage tote lined with foam and stuffed with straw make great places for cats to escape from the cold. An instructional video for creating your own cat shelter is available on the Animal Shelter's website.